shadow so in this video let's try to create door shadow so for this task let's go to our project and let's go to views shadows and let's calculate quantities for our doors let's select category doors and let's put main parameters so let's use these parameters which are presented here okay so first let's use mark type mark name or type in this case with in this case with use type comments type comments in description model counting simple comments okay Infiltration, it depends if you want to filter by level or by floor, so you can put filters, or if you have a couple of zones or different buildings in the same project, so also you should use filter. In our case, we don't need filter, so let's use type mark to sort our elements and by type grand total. Let's calculate how many doors we have. And from here, in this case, I will not use mark. So let's use just type mark in the middle. Type, type comments, description, model. Let's use model in the middle. Counting, let's calculate totals. And in the appearance section, let's change header and body text to 2.5, so textile. Okay, and let's turn off this blank row, so let's combine these two, name and Let's modify borders, in this case also, this let make 15, this one's 19, 19. Counting should be in center and modeling model. Let's change it to uh, 20 and this one to 15. And this one let's change to 25. And let's look what's then total 65. So I can put additional 15. Okay, let's change here. Maybe 30. And let's put here 30. One eight. Okay, great. So here I have my type marks of my doors. So I can just door zero one. Okay. Door zero two, door zero three, and I have my type name and some comments and description. So, if the doors is uh, described fully, so you should see all the 
fields filled in. If not, so you should uh, put some information in these fields.